Hey, welcome back. This is Mr. York. This is part four in this series. In our last episode, we talked about all of the different buttons up here at the top, the buttons over here on the side. In this video, I want to go through and actually start editing our, our video, show you a couple of items that you can do, and also how to use these ones up here in the center section and what they do. And we're going to combine a couple of different videos just to show you how that works. I say we because I have a mouse in my pocket. I hope these videos have uh, helped you guys out, and hopefully you'll watch the rest of them if you need to. Again, if you have any questions, you should be able to find more videos on my website, mryork.org. I'm going to start this video by going through and starting to make this look like an actual video, uh, or more of a finished product by adding a title on the front of it. I don't really want to start off with this student talking. Go for it. I want to start off, and I'm probably going to take that out too, so let's start by editing this down a little bit. I'm going to begin by zooming in, simply hitting Command or Windows and the plus button. The plus button's right next to Delete. Remember that when it comes to editing, there's only really a couple of tools that you need. So if I go to the end of a video clip and I get this bracket, I can actually click and drag over and delete from the side and that'll actually trim my video. And I can bring it back anytime I want. Just don't be afraid about going too far. In this case, I just want to cut out my own voice. As I was recording, I was telling him to start talking. And if I do that... Go for it. <laughs> I probably want to go to right here. Nice part about the sound bar down below is that you can actually see where your voice is. So I can check that again. Go for it. That seems to be it right here. So that these little sound bars right here, these little peaks, that's me saying go for it and I can just trim that right off. When it comes to transitioning between two videos, I can come over here to the bow tie which is our transitions, take a something simple like a cross dissolve which is what I mostly use and just drag it in between them, let go. It's gonna say that there isn't enough media beyond clip. Sometimes it doesn't say this um, but sometimes it does and in which case all you have to do is create the transition and it'll make sure there's enough space on both sides for you. And that'll look like this. Yeah. Okay, so... And I'll just fade right into this one. I don't know where I said, okay, so... Now, if you want to make changes to this, you're going to have to delete it. And once it's created that transition, it'll go back real easily. But if you want to make some changes, like to, treat, uh, to hopefully take my voice out again, which always sounds terrible on video, okay. right there, um, all I have to do is just trim that up. And I can go back here, go to cross dissolve, put that over. Again, if I'm going too fast, don't worry, I'm going to do this several times. Just replay the video as much as you like. Yeah. Okay. And that's a little bit better transition. I think I still say okay right there. And I could trim that up if I wanted to. Uh, right now, it seems like I'm zoomed in pretty far. So I'm going to zoom back out a little bit by, again, hitting command minus. And if you really wanted to see it, or you want to change the way it looks, remember you can come over here to the right side where the, looks like a film strip is, and that'll change how your video actually looks. If I wanted to make it smaller, thinner, zoom out a little bit, I can. I tend to use the keyboard shortcuts more than anything else. But let's go back and finish my, oh, this looks interesting. My titles, I'm going to make a title card on this so that my video doesn't start with just this student talking. <laughs> laughing about his own project. And there's a whole bunch of choices here. I just have to kind of find the one that I like. Wow, that looks interesting. Never used that one before. Sometimes it's fun to explore these and try to find something you haven't used. I tend to like to do that. I get tired of the same one all the time. I'm going to come over to Titles and grab, I'm not going to grab 3D, and the reason I don't grab 3D is because it does take a lot more memory, and we've had issues in the past with that. Typically, if I'm going to use a custom 3D graphic or title, I'm going to ahead and make sure that I add that last. These ones are a lot easier to, even with these animations, they're a lot easier to add to your video without having any issues. Um, you can go back to something like this, just a very simple title. Remember that you can change the size of this. You can't you can't look at this and think, I don't like that font or I don't like that size of the title. Um, it, it doesn't matter. You can change everything. Assembler. No, I don't want that for sure. 
Here's a basic title that's really small. I'm just going to throw that on top right here. Remember when I'm doing titles, which I'm probably going to have to do a whole other video on. I'll explain all of it in detail and we'll do it slow. Um, you do have to make sure that you change the outline and it's easier if you type in over here, I feel like. So I'm going to, I'm doing a little bit on titles and I keep touching on pieces of it. And then my next video is going to be a whole thing trying to get more into it. And the reason for that is that the titles are kind of complicated and I usually do them last because they do often take care of a lot of memory. So what is this? Let's just put project lead the way on the front of it. So I know that what it is, this was 2018 fall. I guess fall 2018 sounds better, doesn't it? I can hear you. I can hear your thoughts. Because this is not 3D, I can come down here. I can make it 3D, um, but I'd rather keep it 2D and outline it, and then I can really see it well. When I outline something, it's a lot easier to read. And I'm going to come back up here to size and make it larger. I hate the fonts that they always give us right off the bat, so I must always change those to something else. As you use programs, you tend to find ones that you really like, that work for you. And you can see that that generator behind it, that title card, and the animation makes it a lot more interesting. I don't think I need it on that long, but... I'm sure I'll create something with it. I'll probably have to do a whole video on sound as well. So in this video, I've given you a little bit of an introduction or a little bit more information on titles. We've got how to do transitions that we talked about. I'm going to put another one over here in the front of this. There we go. You notice it didn't even ask me to create the transition anymore. Part of that is because I'm doing it between a title card and that, and the title cards already have those. There's enough space in those already. I'm going to zoom in, and if you didn't like how long this was, you can actually make it longer. This one doesn't have enough space to do it. And now we're starting to shape things up a little bit. Starting to look pretty good. I gotta go through and decide if I'm going to cut off any more of this or put more transitions in here and probably add a title card at the end. But that's long enough for this video. Please come back and watch my next video and we'll talk about more with titles and more with editing. But before I go, I'm going to show you one last thing, and that's if I want to cut something right in between. If I click on this arrow right here, it's one of the things we haven't talked about, it actually shows you all of the different ways that you can change your cursor. B for blade, H for hand, A for select, B and A are the two that I use most. And here's how I use them. If I want to cut the video right here, all I have to do is figure out where it's at. It's so reset it. So let's say I'm going to cut out that one section where the alarm's going. All I have to do is blade it right there. Blade it again. Right now it's snapping. I don't want it to snap. I'm going to take that off for a second. I'm going to move my playhead out of the way. And there's the second place. I'm going to change it back to A. So I was on blade. I went to A. Click in the center and hit delete. And now it's gone. Let's do it again real quick. And that cut out the center section. If I want to cut out more, I can, because now I can go from this point and just trim it. And then it'll go from here to where it starts to whatever the second point is over All right, here. Give hand. So I can change that whole idea and make it so that it just goes from one video to the other. And obviously, in the final product, you won't see anything different. You'll just hear the transition. Uh, and that's how we edit. So once again, B for blade, A for arrow, 
and that's the biggest part of this video. Thanks for joining me once again. Don't forget www.mryork.org if you need more help. Have a good day.